With your Cougars Rewind, I'm Stephen Williams. Columbus State Baseball closed out its regular season over the weekend as they hosted North Georgia for a three-game series. In Game 1, with the game tied at three in the seventh inning, Cameron Scott delivered the deciding blow as he had a three-run home run over the right field wall. The Cougars then piled on with six more runs in the eighth to win going away 12-3. In the second game, the two teams went back and forth with Columbus State ending up in front 7-5 after seven innings. However, the Cougars allowed three runs in the eighth and another in the ninth that gave North Georgia the lead and ultimately the victory. In game three, it was all CSU as the Cougars scored 25 runs on 26 hits. Columbus State got it started with six runs in the first before tacking on two more in the second. With the lead down to one at 9-8, to eight, the Cougars scored a run in the sixth, nine more in the seventh, and six more in the eighth to secure the win 25-10. The series victory means the Cougars close out the regular season at 27-20 overall and 19-10 in Peach Belt Conference play. They now will wait to find out their seed and opponent for the opening round of the PDC tournament that will begin on May 8th. The NCAA Tennis Regionals were in Columbus Saturday and Sunday as the CSU men and women each were selected as hosts. The Columbus State men rolled on Saturday in the opening round against number 30 USC Aiken. The Cougars won two of three doubles matches before winning three singles matches for the victory. In Sunday's regional final, the Cougars jumped out to an early lead on number 7 Lander after winning two of three doubles matches and also at six singles. However, the Bearcats won four of the five remaining matches to end CSU's season in heartbreaking fashion. The Cougar men finished the year with an 18-4 record. The Columbus State women easily won their opening round match Sunday against Wingate, cruising to a 5-0 victory. The Lady Cougars are now headed to their 10th straight appearance in the second round of the NCAA tournament. They will be taking on Francis Marion at 2 o'clock today at the Blackman Tennis Center at CSU. Stay up to date on the latest happenings in Columbus State Athletics on Facebook at facebook.com slash CSU Cougars and on Twitter by following at CSU Cougars.